Okay. Today we're going to be making what I call my little buddy stove. Here's one I just finished. I just poured the wax in it. That's what it'll look like when it's finished. I'm not going to touch it right now because it's still hot. But this thing will burn for quite a while. I'm going to test one. Uh, let one burn all the way through. And I'll add the burn time for the bigger one here, the tuna fish size can, to the end of the video later. So supplies you'll need, you need wax, which I have in here melting down. You need some cans, whether it's from tuna fish, dog food, cat food. You can use the smaller ones also to burn a little less longer. Um, I'm using a lamp wick, but you can use string, candle wicks, uh, match sticks. Whatever you can think of what like to use. Uh, you'll need basically scissors is the only tool you'll need. You need cardboard uh, from a box. Preferably not the kind that's it doesn't have the shine on it. Just the older, the plain cardboard boxes, or if you have any older cardboard boxes before they put that coating on them. You'll cut that down in the strips to fit the, the height of the can, like so. This is, this is one whole wick that comes in this package. I just cut it down and then I cut it to the length to fit into the stove. So I'll show you how to roll this up. You just start rolling up your cardboard as tight as you can. Start it rolled. I'm gonna let it unroll. Get it started. I'm gonna cut the cut the height of the wick that I want. That's so. You don't need all this. I'm gonna cut it down. You get several wicks out of one of these. These are about a buck fifty or so, and uh, I picked this up in Walmart. I've seen them sometimes in the dollar store. So now I'm going to go back and put my wick in the, where it's going to be in the center. Roll this up again and continue to roll until I have a big enough size to fit in the can. You can use little strips too. You just have to keep adding. If you don't have it. So it doesn't matter how big the cardboard box is. Shoe boxes, if they don't, again, if they're older and they don't have that glaze on them. I don't know how well they'll burn with that wax on them. Or whatever that coating is. Take off the stickers if there's stickers on there. You don't take off anything that might not burn. Or it may burn, but it may put it out. You have to you may keep relighting it. Even this one for a little one's gonna take it's gonna take a couple of uh, pieces of cardboard to, to get that up to size. So I'm just going to add on this one. Not quite the size yet. Cut a piece. Don't have to be exact science here. The height. You can have it to the top of the can, a little bit higher. Doesn't really matter. It's just a little improvised stove you can throw in your backpack. It's light. I'm gonna add one more piece. Another short piece. Make these next to no cost if you have. The only thing you really got to buy is the wick and wax. I've saved up this wax from used up candles. You can buy wax, so that that could be a cost for you, but it should be minimal. 
Shouldn't be a big cost. I'm gonna get this wedged in here. Take a little bit off. That's not a waste because you can use that cardboard in another stove. Okay, now we got it in there. Move this out the way. I'm gonna take my wax. It's already melted. I've had the stove going for a little bit now. Just do it on the surface, you don't care about getting a little bit of wax on. I prefer to do it outside, so if I spill it, so be it. Let that soak in there. Give me another ladle hole. You also need a pot and uh, some type of heating device. This little white stove here is actually it's a portable indoor grill that somebody gave us and we never used it in the house so I repurposed it as my project stove. It's got a grate on the top but I said it, this pot fits right in the uh, element so it's perfect. So there you go. That should have enough wax in it. Once it dries, all you do is light it and you got yourself a good little stove. Again, you need some tin cans from tuna fish, dog food, cat food, a pair of scissors, cardboard to cut up, some type of wick, wax, pot to melt the wax in, and some type of heating device to melt the wax. Could be over your campfire, whatever. I will light one of these and see what the burn time is on it, and I will add it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe button below. And, uh, thank you for watching. Welcome back to Shit Creek Survival. If you like this video and all my other videos on my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, on any preparedness topics or survival topics or if you'd like to see a product review uh, let me know in the comments box also you can see us on Facebook and remember stay prepared stay safe stay alive see you next time on Shit Creek Survival